Here we go. Hey guys. So obviously this is not how I usually come to you with my hair in a mess and my face like unwashed and you know undid. But I actually wanted to share some news with you guys. So I had a bit of an accident last week. So I fell off a horse. Pretty common if you're a horse rider, you fall off horses. It was harder than I thought it was when it happened. I didn't think it was so bad. After going to the doctor, it's a little bad. So I have a mild concussion, which is making me feel quite dizzy, quite nauseous. I get headaches and it's, it's not great. I'm struggling to read and write at the moment because my perception is just, my depth perception is just a little bit squonk. And uh, yeah, balance is a real issue. <laughs> And then I've also got torn ligaments in my left ankle, so clean tear. And so I am in six weeks of recovery. Why am I telling you all of this? Because I wanted to share that sometimes we can't control what happens in our life. There are just external factors, circumstances that happen. But we can always choose how we're going to respond to the circumstance. So I'm going to be sharing my six-week recovery journey. Mostly because I definitely need something to focus on and keep me sane while I am just kind of on bed rest for two weeks. I'm not allowed to put any weight on my foot. I'm not allowed to drive. I'm not allowed to work. I'm not allowed to do much other than sit. And so there's very little I, I feel like I can do. And of course, when we feel like that, when we feel like there's so little we can do, when we feel like we are just out of control, out of what we want to do, it's it's so easy for us to spiral down into that emotional low state and that mental low state, feeling like, you know, what's the point? We can't do anything. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to choose to respond every day to my situation, no matter what the external factors are. And hopefully this is just some encouragement for you, but also that you can see some of the tools I'm using so that if you're going through a low point at this moment in your life, or if you've experienced this before and you might experience something like this in the future, that you're prepared and you know that you do actually always have a choice and you always have a certain amount of control over your life. And if you practice control in the areas that you do have control over, you'll find that it's a lot easier to stay upbeat, a lot easier to stay motivated and positive with whatever your scenario is. So good luck, enjoy, and I hope that you are able to get a lot of knowledge and value from the experience that I'm having, and I can't wait to share some of my day-to-day -day tips and tricks and tools that I'm using just to keep myself motivated through a process where I've got very little control over my circumstance, my healing. It's a matter of it's in nature's hands, it's in God's hands, it's in the doctor's hands, and so all I can do is respond as positively as I can to the situation and I can exert my control where I do have control over and just be mindful that I do need time. I do need time to rest and although my client's journey is always my top priority, in order for me to bring massive value to my clients, I need to know that I'm putting myself first in healing myself so that I can give them the best value at all times in their journey. So welcome and enjoy the journey of a six-week healing process. And let's see what I discovered through this process, the ups and downs. You're going to be seeing it all. Uh, here's a picture of my very gnarly ankle injury. Enjoy. So beautiful, colorful bruises there. We're growing rainbow unicorn colors on the ankle. And uh, yeah, it's lovely, lovely experience. Enjoying the colors. Uh, swelling is not fun, balance is not fun right now, but I need to move my body still, I need to somehow still stay active and be proactive in how I'm healing through my mind, body and soul on this journey.